Come along, Darcy. I don't want to, Mom. Who cares what you want? Now just get over here and stop sniveling. I guess you were wanting to meet your grandson. Uh, what should I call you? Lord Dorincourt will be quite sufficient, Lady Fauntleroy. Very well, Lord Dorincourt. May I present you the real Lord Fauntleroy? Lady Fauntleroy, you requested this interview, and on Mr. Haversham's advice, I have granted it. Perhaps, now that you're here, you will tell me what it is that you have come to say. Oh, it's gloves off, is it? Very well. You'll find I can talk straight. So, let's be quite clear. I've come to tell you that Darcy and I are coming to live with you. That is quite out of the question. People are always telling me that. We will take up residence here. During the season, I will live in Doringcourt House in Grosvenor Square. You will make me an allowance. And before I leave today, I will inspect my rooms. What on earth makes you think that I will agree to any of this? I'll tell you. If you refuse me, I will sell my story for worldwide publication. I will reveal everything I know about the Errol family, which it will not surprise you to hear is quite a lot. Your son, my husband, not being noted for his discretion when drunk. I will pose for photographs, and I will not rest while there is a single secret of the House of Dorincourt left unpublished. It may surprise you to know that there's an audience for these revelations about a great family, but I can assure you that there is. However, I'm sure there's no need for any of that. You'll find me most accommodating. I mean to be in London quite a bit once things are settled. Well, then you'll have a chance to get to know your grandson. What you say? Madam, I'm speechless. Well, maybe that's best until you've spoken to Havisham. Will you ring for the housekeeper? I'm feeling kind of hungry. And then after I've eaten, I'll take a look around. By the way, where's the other boy? In the village with his mother. Oh, yeah. I heard about her. What a sad. Well, there'll be no hiding me away in the village. You can be sure of that. I guess she spoiled you, huh? Yes. I suppose she has. Ah, uh, Thomas. Tell Mrs. Mellon that Lady Fauntleroy is ready for her luncheon. Darcy? Master Seddy, what are you going to do with yourself this afternoon? I don't know. I guess maybe I'll go up to the castle. I wonder if she's still there. She? And who's she? The cat's mother? No. You know, my uncle's wife, the mother of the new guy. So, what are you doing? What is it looking like? Can I help? We've just about finished, but do ask again whenever you want to. I guess I will be able to help a bit more. You know, when I'll be here all the time. And we'll be glad of it, won't we, Mary? It'll be nice having a man round the house. Well, I think I'll get going, if that's all right. Of course it is, as long as your mother doesn't mind. Go and say goodbye to her now. OK. See you both tomorrow. I don't know which I'm sorry is that that he had to live up at the castle away from his ma, or that he has to come back here now. Life can be wicked sometimes. When was it last done up? It was decorated for the late Countess on her marriage to his lordship. Yeah? Smells as if she died here. Well, I'll all have to go. I'll get someone down from London for ideas. As you wish. When is your ladyship expecting to take up residence? Oh, not for a couple of weeks. I'll let you know. But don't worry, you don't have to have it finished by then. Just clean it up a little. Now, show me the nursery. Come on, Darcy. I expect the curious downstairs. My lady. Now that you've met the real Lord Fauntleroy. 
This way, my lady. Wow, look at all this stuff, Mom. Careful. Why should he be? It's all his now. Beg pardon, my lady, but these things belong to Master Cedric. Really? Well, Master Cedric will have to clear them out, won't he? This is going to be my son's room. Isn't it precious? Master Cedric, you're back sooner than I thought. I told Robert. I didn't wait for Robert. I walked. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, this is your aunt, Lady Fauntleroy, and your cousin. Lord Fauntleroy. Cousin Darcy. I hope we'll be friends. I don't know there'll be much chance of that. You're not planning to stick around, are you? I don't think things are quite decided just yet. Well, I better get decided, and quick. Is this yours? Yes. Can I have it? I suppose so. Thanks. Well, that about does it. We'd better be going. I'll let you know my orders, Mrs. Mellon. Come along, Darcy. Lordship's well cut up. Do you know, Mrs. Dawson, I felt sorry for him. I did, truly. And I never thought I'd say that. They'll be coming here to live, then. Well, that's what they're saying downstairs. Though it beats me how Mrs. Errol, who never said a cross word, was left to stew in the village. And this one's been given the old Countess's rooms. I don't know. How old's the boy? Do you know? Eleven, I think she said. Hmm. So what happens to our lad now? Blessed if I know. Poor kid. It will be all right. I wish I was the grandchild of an earl and off to live in Court Lodge. Here, take it. Now, you better get on with these, or you'll have other troubles to worry about. Well, Sadie, how do you feel about it all? I feel pretty odd to tell you the truth, Grandfather. Will they take Dearest's house away from her? Nope. They can take nothing away from her. Can't they? No, my boy. Not yet, at any rate. Still, I guess it means that everything's going to be different from now on. I'm afraid some things will have to be a bit different. Yes. I just wish it could all have stayed as it was. So do I, Sadie. Oh, so do I. I suppose this... Darcy, he will have to be your boy now, as I've been, won't he? No, he will not. Won't he? Oh. Then shall I be your boy, just like before? My boy? Yes. You'll be my boy as long as I live. Don't you worry about that. Oh, well, then. I don't care about the Earl part, really. But I thought we weren't going to be such friends anymore. Don't you worry, Sadie. I'll look after you. I promise you that. I'll give you everything I can. I'll be leaving here, won't I? Well, leaving the castle. That lady said my room isn't my room anymore. 